This is going to be a little bit different than what I usually do. For those of you that have seen my video, the everyday carry brass, the made from scratch flashlight. It's going to kind of be a continuation of that. Uh, I've had a lot of people show interest in that on the flashlight forums and Facebook and I've been making a few for other people that requested them but it's kind of got to the point where I can't really just keep running them on my mini lathe but I think that I've seen enough interest that I'm gonna try to get a production run going and so I'm gonna be posting my updates as far as the progress with that by video just because that's an easy way for me to get with everybody at the same time you know across all the platforms so and also to get uh, feedback all in one place so that I can see how you guys are feeling about the design changes and stuff uh, I've been working on it quite a bit lately um, I really do like the original design, but there's some things people were saying that you know they'd kind of like to see uh, be different, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a few different uh, modifications and show you guys what I've come up with. So far, this this is one of the more recent designs. This is what I've come up with, and uh, that's based on one thing everybody said you know that they would kind of like to see or most people said is to go with a clicky tail switch rather than uh, a twisty head and I think I like a clicky better myself too and so I've integrated that into the design for the design changes I basically just have to run them on my lathe to see what they're like I've I don't really do CAD drawings just because I'm horrible at it I mean just awful and I, you know I have tried and it's like I can actually just make it on the lathe faster than I can effectively do a CAD drawing so uh, I'm gonna I'll I'll make periodic updates as far as what's going on and if you guys feel like that you want to to get the updates right as they come so that you can get your feedback in moving forward if you feel like this is a light that you're really interested in uh, something you can do is go to my youtube channel and where the video subscribe button is if you look there's a little bell right there and you can ring that bell and then you'll get instant updates for you know when i post the videos uh, i actually just learned that the other day so you can see some of the difference from the original design is right here mainly. Um, I really did like the rounded ball shape on the end here, but in order to get the, the switch boot shrouded so we can have the, the tail stand, I had to kind of bring that back a little bit. And I've played with the spacing on this just a hair. This just for a test, you know, going with this, this piece here to be a little bit smaller than the bezel so maybe you guys can give me some feedback on that see what you think um, I still feel like this could use some work it, it looks it looks good but I don't think it looks great I'm just afraid you know I don't want to I'm afraid if I put fins or something on there the whole thing's gonna start to look too ringy and nobody wants a ringy flashlight I was thinking while you guys were here, I might uh, do a few beam shots, show you what the profile on that looks like. Down the barrel, we've got the 3 XPL high is what I ended up going with for the engine on this one and the MOSFET driver. I really think that the beam quality and the color blending is ideal with this emitter, so that's why I switched to that from the XPG3.
I'm still gonna try to post my regular weekly videos about the DIY modding and stuff like that, but I'm also gonna try to keep up with this project kind of as a vlog so that I'll have two different things kind of going. I'm hoping within about the next six weeks or so I should have the design and everything completed and we can go to production, but you know how that goes. Sometimes it works out and sometimes whatever. Thank you.